Hey there, this is uh, Turk72, and uh, things are heating up in Ferguson again. Uh, as you probably know, a couple of officers were uh, shot at, and uh, things are starting to get uh, tense again. Um, but this Ferguson thing has really, I think, awakened a lot of people to uh, the police state and uh, police brutality that that weren't previously exposed exposed or aware of it before and there has been a couple of uh, minor victories in California the cities of uh, Davis and I believe San Jose they have returned their armored vehicles so uh, this awareness matters your 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 voice matters um, that you're cognizant of these things that are going on. Also in Oakland, I think they canceled their annual training of, uh, of riot training or, uh, you know, civil unrest uh, training. So those are a few victories and I hope that they can, can uh, continue. And, uh, yeah, when Eric Holder uh, explained how passionate he was about looking into what's going on in Ferguson, um, I kind of believed that he was uh, genuine. I could be wrong on that, but uh, unfortunately it looks like we will uh, never find out because he is going to resign and if you think uh, Eric Holder or uh, Barack Obama is uh, really going to do anything for the people of Ferguson, I think it will be waiting a long time, just like with uh, Fast and Furious and all the other uh, scandals. So uh, that part is uh, unfortunate, and um, if you're uh, if uh, you're in Ferguson and you're holding out that uh, uh, the government is going to be uh, doing something about this for you, I think you're mistaken. And um, I was watching this. Uh, PBS uh, special on Ferguson. I know PBS is very biased, but um, you could definitely tell from that feeling in the room that things were still very uh, black against white, and uh, the establishment is succeeding in doing this pincher move to divide people. And uh, yes, individual welfare, it's a uh, a uh, big problem. I don't like it when I see people uh, taking taking advantage of welfare. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people in Ferguson, uh, I mean a significant amount, are on welfare. Some don't even have uh, bank accounts. Um, but this this matters. This matters to all of us. We all have uh, skin in the game, and remember the biggest recipient of welfare is the United States government and um, this is our opportunity I think we need to raise awareness of what's happening in Ferguson uh, because if the police state crackdown in Ferguson is successful or even partially successful they will take that knowledge and apply it to other cities, perhaps someplace near you. Um, so um, I think we definitely all should be involved and that this should matter uh, to everyone. So um, let's hope this uh, develops that's in a positive way. And remember that this, I don't think this is uh, black against white. I think this is, you know, uh, liberty versus uh, tyranny and we need to look at it as such um, and if we don't it could be a big mistake we need to take a, a big hack out of that uh, diseased uh, tree of tyranny that's uh, growing in our country and this is a opportunity to make a good story at it so uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to do a quick thank you to my uh, new subscribers who are trickling in there. And this is Turk72 out.